The presence of confusion often indicates the absence of clarity. The Mega City Confusion Part 2, Street Trading. That we have hawkers on the streets of Lagos weaving between cars and traffic is nothing to be ashamed of, for now at least. The color and the vibrancy needs to be adopted to plan for a greater Lagos. But how can we make it safe for these hawkers? In the last week, an article came out about a street hawker who makes over a million naira monthly. He has hawkers who work for him, but he's still seen on the roads working. Many of them make 200,000 naira a month. And then we have the Malam kiosks. What's so wrong with that concept? We need to celebrate it. In the year 2000, a top executive with Coca-Cola Nigeria, who was non-Nigerian, asked me to design a kiosk that could be replicated nationwide, something that would, be, that would become iconic but simple. To be honest, I had done some sketches for this sort of thing before I met him, and, but the project never took off. What about the beautiful, vibrant but unhygienic markets? In Benin of my youth, I remember the Oba market, which was replaced with unloved concrete structures just like was done with Teju Osho in Lagos. You see, lessons are never learned. Lagos State Government fenced off markets with ugly solid walls that were offered to MTN to paint, desecrate, and seriously damage the surrounding area. I'm referring to Falomo here. Sura and Sangraus markets, that's Sangros for all of you, were fenced off, and we could no longer see the beautiful baskets of yams, tomatoes, and whatnot. Sand Grouse in particular was closed down and a large sign signaling an impending shopping mall came up. Now, transparent aluminium fences would have performed better the role of keeping the traders off the road while still permitting views of products for sale and at the same time not requiring maintenance. So, urban planners, where are they? Why is it so difficult to embrace what you have and build on them? Abstract what you have and give it life, new life and relevance. Lay buys along the streets where one could buy stuff on the move. This is not difficult. Hey, I, 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 <laughs> I, get, I get this whole concept. Um, you get it? We, 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 want to, we want to westernize. You want to copy hook, line and sinker. Mm -hmm. Like um, Fela once said, that when he was um, Kola Lobito band, uh -huh. his mother called him and said, look, you are playing like the white man. You can never be the white man. You can't beat them. That's their tradition. Mm -hmm. Why don't you create your own? And then people would. And that was how he created um, the Egypt 80 band. Africa 70. African 70. And then today, you know, we still celebrate him even many years after his demise. That's the problem. I think Chimamanda mm -hmm. also talked about Ikoi, old Ikoi. You know, you see the old houses giving way for high rise. Oh, yeah. And so the history is gone. Mm -hmm. It's lost with all of that mm. and it's the same thing here yes there's poverty everywhere people walk on the street but how can we i i, I remember some my brother-in-law came with some um, americans and then we were talking about drive through i said you, you people don't have drive through watch let me take you through drive through lucky yeah. mm. and then you see a real drive through supermarket <laughs> i can buy anything Christmas i can even cream. make a pot of soup yeah. right in traffic <laughs> you know yeah it's true. And, and, and so for me Yes, there's poverty. People see it. If you're looking at it from the prism of Western world, it's a menace. Yeah. But how can we take it, make it ours, recreate it? Mm. And, you know, it becomes beautiful. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I have to say, it's not just the prism of Western world, though. Just normal prism, Seth. I'm saying that there is a danger in being too romantic about some of these things. I'm glad you mentioned the safety aspect, because I want to major on that. When you see these hawkers, yes, it's all very romantic. I read the article about the young man who has been... Yeah, the woman, you know, very yeah. nice, very good, mm. but still... You see children who are abused because they're being driven into street hawking. You see women who are abused because they're, they're all... Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's yes. not regulated. Those kind of things are not born out of a regulated culture. That's what I'm trying to say. So as you're romanticizing it, understand the risks. I don't particularly like the fact that I'm driving in traffic and I'm having to avoid human beings who are too busy buying and selling. It's a risk. So maybe the lay-by option, we need to look at it. But what I do mm -hmm. commend is that let's even think about our solutions. Let's engage our thinking and say, I like your aluminum thing. It sounds perfect because like you say, you want to see, you know, and why are you doing, I, I hate 
the MTN wars. Oh, yeah. Horrible. I don't know who managed to give them. And you know, it's like we don't have standards. Why would you allow them to just put their logo everywhere? everywhere. In yeah, most countries, there so will be a limit. Sorry. You can't do yeah, this. Yeah, there will be a limit. You can't just, you yeah, know, it's, it's all over the money. place, mm, above I, and be, below. I, I want to, uh, this challenge goes back to the architects and our urban developers, you know, who um, they are the ones that are saddled with, you know. But sadly, you find that most of our architects today, they've lost that true essence of our own culture. They design Very homes cool, or cities, like, liken those cities to Western, losing our own, own touch, essence, yeah. you understand? So if you know, our own local urban developers and architects embrace our culture, you would find them designing cities you know, with our peculiarities mm, taken into consideration. Yeah. So if we like, you know, peddlers like this, you create space yeah. for them where you Lay can by, just park like and, mm. and do stuff like mm, that. Mm. So again, the challenge goes back to the to architects. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I accept the challenge. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you raised those concrete walls yeah. and yeah. whatever, because yeah. the truth is, I do love to see a beautiful market. Mm. You know, like when I, I was looking for um, what I thought was Lecky, what used to be Lecky Market, oh. I looked, 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 I, they had moved this market inside somewhere, yeah. build concrete walls. And, and I just thought, this was a market I used to look forward to going to. And from just looking at it from outside, I used to get excited about Ivone, the goods I was Ivone, going to see. I, now you don't see Chuka, anything. You remember this now. other Chuka. market called Arena. Enter Arena. Chuka. It's like Chuka, you remember concrete walls Liverpool everywhere. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. If you remember Liverpool Market? Yes. In the UK. Mm. Yeah. In yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And, and so yes. it's a replica market. of the Nigerian yes. market. Yes, I like that. You, you even Shepherd's because, Bush mm, and Shepherd's Bush yeah. regulated. Yeah. Regul yes. Even if you go to Miami and um, saw um, a Fleece Market, yes. okay. you know it's a similar market. Yes. So they, to they're copying us. And we're yes, copying they're copying them. us. Yes, they're copying us. So you can do like, for me. For me, you can regulate all of these things, mm -hmm. but we always the, because we don't have solution. You just you know, throw the baby out in the bathroom. Pull it down. No, I, I, thank you. I like yeah. what you're doing, Chika. Yeah. yeah. Well, although, like we say, it is not rocket science. It may still need to be said. Do continue having your say on our advocacy and enriching our conversation. So, on Keke Napep and Okada's A Necessary Evil, Goje Aro says a lot. Negotiations' lack of seriousness and complacency will finish everybody one day if we refuse to hold the bull by the horn. How can fundamentalist Boko Haram's ungodly act be curtailed by putting gradual restrictions on Okada? Government, private organizations, and other able stakeholders should start thinking about how we can engage our youth positively and forget Okada for good. Other parts of the world are moving towards driverless transportation, <laughs> and we are busy discussing Okada for our youth. Youth education towards nationwide industrialization is the way to go. Time is up for us to stand up for our youth nationwide for a greater tomorrow. Anyway, still on Okadas and Kekes, Emojefe.com says, my own view is they should ban Okadas. Okadas are not only dangerous, but make Nigeria streets look dirty and untidy. Keke and Napep are safer and look cute too. <laughs> Unbelievable. They should have different bright colors, not the ugly taxi colors, to flowerize the old, depressive, and looking streets of Nigeria. And they should rename it Taxi Assistant instead of Keke and Napep. Names are very powerful. Bad names attract bad luck. Good names attract good luck. If you enter Kekenapep, it could kill you. <laughs> but if you enter Taxi Assistant, you will have a smooth ride. <laughs> Interesting perspective. <laughs> Emojefe, thank you very much for this laugh. On nepotism, we are all guilty. Lawal Balikis, 1987, says, This nation has disintegrated totally. A country whereby criminals have amnesty, government making peace with criminals with 100 billion naira. Imagine, I'm a graduate too. I had a HND, I studied civil engineering, but no work. And if I don't cook for some set of busy bachelors or spinsters, I won't have anything to eat. It's very annoying, I must confess. We feel your frustration, Laval, and uh, we keep advocating for a better society. 
So please do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, the hash, hashtag The Advocate NG. And then to catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustv.com forward slash The Advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, Liberos is calling on a few good men to rise to the challenge of leadership. I wonder if he's one of them.